Hi there, welcome to Holy Habitus. Today I'd like to tackle the issue of the challenge to discipleship. Um, and more specifically, the issuing of that challenge to others. We're called to be a disciple of Jesus, but also to make disciples of others. And a key feature of our being a disciple is helping others to be disciples, whether they be just setting out on the road after Christ or, or have been for 20, 30 years following him. We need to challenge one another to discipleship. And our model for that is, of course, Jesus, who didn't, you know, pull any punches. He went straight for the jugular sometimes in terms of challenging people to a more uh, to a closer walk with him. One of the stories that has been journeying with me for several years has been the story of the rich young ruler who comes to Jesus and he says, teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus says, well, you know, the commandments don't murder or commit adultery, honor your father and mother and so on. And the rich young ruler is really happy with that. He says, great, well, I've done most of those things since I was a young boy, so brilliant. And it says then that Jesus looked at him and loved him in Mark's gospel. He loved him. And off the back of that love, Jesus says, one thing you lack, go, sell your possessions, give the money to the poor, and you'll have treasures in heaven. Then come and follow me. And as a result of that two foot tackle, that rich young ruler goes away sad. Now, I've always been challenged by that story because I, I felt, oh, I've got to embrace the cost of discipleship. I don't want to go away sad like that rich young ruler. But recently, as I've contemplated on, on this idea of discipling others or making disciples, I've realized that actually I'm also meant to model Jesus in that situation so that when I have those people who come to me or who, whom I interact with, who want to follow Jesus, who want to enter, enter into eternal life, I need to, like Christ, be willing and loving enough to issue the challenge to discipleship, recognizing that that's going to be a costly thing. That if we really want to journey after Christ, then we need to let go of every idol. And Jesus sees straight to the heart of this young man's sort of issue and he, and he tackles it. And, and too often, I feel, I, I brush things under the surface, under the carpet. I think, oh, let's not go there. You know, Jesus could have left it there. He could have said, oh, well, you fulfilled, you know, honour your father and mother. Great, brilliant. Um, come follow me. But no, he, he loves him too much to leave him where he is. And he issues that challenge. And I recognise that I need to be better at that if I'm going to help others to be robust and radical disciples of Jesus. So the challenge this week is, who is the Holy Spirit leading us to have a deeper conversation with? Let's go and prayerfully and sensitively take up that challenge.